Welcome back to another Contrast 101. My ninjas, this is Seven Ninjas Studios, and I'm here to let you show you how we're going to paint this orc terror ship for the Battlefleet Gothic game. This one's going to use two colors, Ultramarines Blue and Blood Angels Red. And I don't have a source image. We're just going to have some fun with this, painting it kind of how we want. We're also going to be using some bronze and silver metallics, uh but not a lot of other colors. So to begin with, we're just taking a relatively uh, heavy brush, one that'll both has a good point so it'll get into all the little recesses because gosh, there are a lot of nooks and crannies on this fella. Um, but also it'll hold a lot so that we can get that good definition in there. And so we're going to paint the nose of this thing red. And you can see I'm adding a little bit more so we can get some extra definition on the panels. Uh, and that definition is going to be so helpful when we get to doing all of the, the metallics, which are the bulk of this video. Uh, and now I'm, I'm using contrast and I'm showing you how to use contrast and how to make the contrast pool where you want it and not pool. But uh, I should point out that technically you could use normal uh, non-contrast paints for this. But uh, why, why would you? Contrast paints are fun. So we're just going to paint the nose blue or the nose red and we're going to paint the rest of it blue in a few moments and then we're going to come back and do the metallics. So that's had a chance to dry. We're going to come in now with our Ultramarines Blue, and we're going to paint the back half of the Terror Ship. We are going to leave the parts that we know for sure are going to be metallic white, because there's not really a reason to go into those. Um, it's just not, not strictly necessary. And I've got that red stripe on the tail fin there. I did that a moment ago. Uh, and that was just for a little variation on the tail. Also, uh, I'm going to have multiple ships in my Battlefleet Gothic fleet that I am preparing that this uh, model is being painted for. And um, I wanted to be able to identify them. So I'll be painting each of them a different uh, marking on the tail. Uh, because they're orcs, they're not... Uh, they're not particularly fancy with their markings. We're just going to have big red panels. But it's, this is really about getting in there and getting that Ultramarine's blue in. Thank you. 
All right, we have our red, white, and blue ship. And now we're going to come in with Reaper Miniatures Master Series Scorched Metal. And this is kind of a bro dark bronzy color. I really love the effect of it because um, it doesn't look gold and it doesn't look brass. It looks like a dirty, dirty, um, burnt metal. It's got kind of an orangey black to it that's really nice. Anyway, now I've got a thin brush and I'm literally going to spend the next, oh, 20 minutes, literally, painstakingly painting in all of these girders. Scorched metal. And then we're going to paint the weapon systems in silver. And we'll do a couple of layers of silver on that. But there's no, we're not going to do any shading or highlighting on these scorched metal girders. They're just going to be scorched metal girders. And the overall effect is beautiful. I really love it. I think it looks good against the red because it's not uh, a gold. And it looks great against the blue because the, uh, the contrast between the orangey metal uh, and the blue is just fantastic. So, but this is mostly not contrast. <laughs> This is barely a contrast 101 video. This is really just me painting a uh, orc terror ship because I got one and I wanted to paint it. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's see. Let's go ahead and watch me paint some girders in one and a half times speed.
All right, we pretty much most of these are done. And we're gonna switch to the silver in a moment. I'm gonna do my standard. This is my favorite, my three-tone silver formula. This is heavy miniature, by the way. That's a fairly solid chunk of metal. We're gonna start with Secret Weapon Miniatures Dark Iron. This Dark Iron is a very, very black silver. Uh, and as such, very, very fun to use uh, as an underlying color. Uh, and it hides a lot of mistakes in there. So I'm going to start doing anything that's a gun, or that I think is a gun, is going to be uh, uh, dark iron. And that's going to give us a chance. We'll shoot these guns on the side, these large guns, these smokestacks, towers, things like that. We'll have a lot of nice silver parts sticking out. And then when I highlight them, they'll stand out a lot more because they're going to be standing out against black. But it's not black black. It's metallic black, so it still looks good. You know what I'm saying? It looks like it's metal because it's uh, contrasting. It's, it's a rising value going from dark silver to middle silver to bright silver. And that's a great, great way to do silver.
This would normally be the part where I would be talking directly to you. Uh, we're going to go ahead and show you the figure here turning around on the turntable. But uh, I, my camera is not working at the moment for me to get a shot of me. So if you've enjoyed this video, give it a like. Uh, leave a little thumbs up there. Let me know that you like what I'm doing. Uh, thank you very much for supporting this channel. If you want to support me on Patreon, that's patreon.com slash 7ninjas. Just a dollar a month keeps me in paints, minis, and brushes. Uh, and I want to thank you so much for letting me take your fleet from gray to great.